what really made me present this video today is just because of something I found out. Uh, so I was going through the nutritional information of soda. And I found out that the recommended dietary allowance, that is RDA, it's 100 ml. And that bottle is 500 ml. So I was now imagining people that consume three bottles, four bottles of soda. That means for a three bottle of soda, you've consumed 15 times the serving size. Why will you be healthy? No, tell me, why will you be healthy? I'm sad. Oh. Let's go to how you can read your national fact level. National fact level, I mean, it's something that should inform us. It's something that should educate us, but oftentimes they tend to confuse us. This video is just going to be all on nutritional fact level. If you're interested in going on, you can continue with me. And I'm a trying nutritionist. Let's continue. No other animal in the history of Earth has managed to work out nutritional facts and read labels because this is not what you might need. This is what the food industry, the food company, has subjected us into using because of packaged fruits. I know people are, are, are feeling like I can't just sit down and work out the mathematics. Why will I be eating? I'll be working out mathematics. Well, that is what the food industry wants. Grants is an unacceptable way of marketing. Before, the first thing you should do before you get an item that you want to consume is to go through the ingredients. If you go through the ingredient list, ingredients are arranged in order of hierarchy from the one that is used the most to the one that is least used. So the first three ingredients you find on your ingredient list is what is used the most in making that item. If that thing is not LD, then you can conclude that the, the, the food you're getting is not LD. You can use it in comparing two products if you want to get one that is, I mean, a bit more LD. So you can use it in comparing two products. The other one is your serving size. Your serving size is what the manufacturer state that should be consumed in one sitting at a time. That is your serving size, and you will find it clearly written there. And for you, for, for them to come about the serving size, a lot of consumption has occurred. If you consume more than the serving size, probably three times the serving size, that means all those nutrients you find, all those things you find, it's been times theory in your system. So before you know it, the point is, it's not about the food you consume now. It's about the accumulation of food you consume that would make up your health. So you will not drink a can of soda and you expect to fall sick automatically. Same thing you will not eat a, uh, a plate of fruit salad, a plate of uh, good food and you expect your health to boost automatically. No, it's about something that accumulates. If it accumulates over time, before you know it, your health is either going to be better or your health is either going to be worse. The third one is serving per container. It's what is inside the container, like your pasta, 500 grams, four servings. You know people that are consuming it in one serving. <laughs> you can continue. It's your health, right? Soon you will see you are not healthy. Why will you be healthy? You are consuming more than the serving size, more than what it is. Recommended for you, but I will not want you to continue. That's why I'm doing this video. Don't continue, stop that at it. Yes, serving per container is what is inside that container that package. Some is 500 ml, some you see something of 100 ml times four servings. That means it's four servings, 100 ml times three servings. That means it's three servings. You should know how you balance things, you should know how you would consume it. That is what the serving per container is just meant for. The point is, nutrition is very nuanced, one size does not fit all. Your RODA might be different from my RODA. But the point is, national label will just help in guiding us. For you to know better, you should do research on what you should consume. There are some things that you can consume that I cannot consume, something that I can consume and you cannot consume because of age difference and because of other factors, health factors and everything. So doing more research will be able to guide you on what you should consume better. I hope you've been able to learn one or two things today on channel fact label. And I hope that next time when you get to the grocery store, when you want to get an item, always ensure that you read the channel fact label. Don't just base all your life on the front label that screams LD, organic, gluten free, all natural. Don't allow those food labels to lure you into buying an item. Read through the channel fact label. Till next time when I will see you again. Don't forget to share with your friends. I mean, just in a social five minutes video. Share with your friends, share with your family, share with that person that that know that need this information. And don't forget to subscribe. Next time I will see you again. Stay safe, stay healthy, and exercise regularly. Thank